Good morning. I'm out by myself today. Um, the sun is just coming up. You can probably start to see over there. See the sun starting to come up over suburbia. Um, the goal today is I'm going to check out some big baits. I've got some couple of herring like this, and I've got um, a big squid head here I caught last time. Um, these are fresh baits. A fresh herring I caught only two days ago, and the squid, same again, two days ago, straight on the ice at home. So nice fresh baits. Um, fresh local baits, so I'm going to see if I can get it done and catch myself a nice big size snapper on a fresh local bait. I've got two lines out. At the moment I've got a soft plastic out here because I already had it rigged up and I pulled up I just threw it out. And um, I've got a scaly out this side um, for the plain reason um, is these aren't quite defrosted yet so I've got to give these a few minutes to defrost. I'm going to stick in a bit of water so that it frosts a bit quicker and then I'll get some good fresh baits out. But um, I've got a few, probably got 10 or 15 anyway until the sun comes up. It's normally pretty quiet at this time of the morning. It's not till it gets a little bit lighter that it starts to kick off. So I'll get a bit of barely flowing and um, defrost these baits and see if we can't get ourselves a nice pinky as the sun comes up. Wow, beautiful. Lots of baby sleeps. This is what goes on. Beautiful colors of the morning sunrise. I just love being out here at this time, it's just amazing to watch. That was a fresh, whoops, that was a fresh cutlet of herring I just put out. Um, this is Zane's new Timu reel. It's the 5,000 size. I got this one for um, my young bloke Zane. The 5,000 Timu. The drag feels all right, so I don't know, we'll give it a crack. If it hooks a big fish, we'll see what happens. I think it'll probably be okay. It feels solid enough. Um, if I lose a fish, I'll lose a fish, but I'm pretty confident it'll be good. So I just put a big fillet of her a big cutlet of herring out on that side. See if what see if I can get it done. Oh that's been snipped off. Oh don't tell me there's sharks around already. That's just been snipped off clean or hooked the whole lot. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so while I'm re-rigging that, like I said before, I've got this soft plastic rigged up, so while I'm re-rigging that one, I'll whack this soft plastic out. Got a sneaking suspicion that was a shark. Oh, that just got a tap. Let's go. Come on. It's quite a large bait, so I'm just gonna let it swallow. And I've got a circle hook as well, so I just wanna let the hook do its let the hook do its thing. Bend. Oh, and my herring's getting a whacking. Oh, which one do I go to? I'm gonna go to the herring. Yeah, the herring's on. Oh, no, the herring's off. Or is it? Is it still there? Yeah, it's still, oh, no. I think something, something's definitely eating it. I'm gonna let it sit, because that is a really big bait. I'll let that sit and see what's going on here. Oh wow, that's kind of... <laughs> Two hits for nothing there. Oh, something's still eating that bit of herring there. Something's still having a go at it. Oh yeah, something definitely had a bit of a touch at my scaly. I'm gonna throw that back out. What's going on with my herring trunk here? Come on, let's go. Wind that in and check, it might be off now. Oh yeah, it's gone. Baited. Oh, 
Oh, I've got my hook back, so that's a good sign. Let's see if I can get a bit of this squid here. Yeah, a bit of fresh squid tentacle. I'll whack that out on this side, see what happens with that. I've got a whole manky squid head in there. So there you go, there's my bait. Still covered in ink and everything fresh, local squid. If that doesn't get eaten, I'll be very surprised. I can't believe it just came up zero from two good hits like that. <laughs> Got him on now, surely. Yeah, here we go. Ugh, let's go. Wow, well, it took a while to get a hook in it. That circle was just... I knew it would get its job done eventually, but... What is this? Oh, the other rod's getting some love and now a bit of squid. That was always going to happen. Oh yeah, that's in too. Oh, oh, we'll just have to see what happens. The old Timu reel can just do its thing in the corner there for now. Whatever this is, is not super substantial. Oh, wait, is that just a skippy after all of that? Wow. Just a decent size, it was a decent size skippy. I'm gonna keep this guy. Good skippy. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, the old Timu reel. The drag didn't sound super smooth, I'm not gonna lie. Is this another skippy? Feels like it might be. The actual reel feels okay, it feels smooth enough. Feels strong, doesn't feel like it's gonna break in a hurry. Yeah, another skippy. Good size skippy. Look at those guys, they're good chunky winter skippy. Uh, bit of weather through the week. And looks like the big winter skippy have moved in. I'm going to keep those two because they will be very good baits for me for later on. Like I say, fresh local bait, you can't beat it. Doesn't get much more local than right where you're fishing at the time. And look, my, my piece of squid is still in the game. Let's whack it back out. I got the squids back in. Oh, hang on, what's this one? What is this one? Is it another skippy, I think? Jeez, it's got some weight. They're putting in these skips, I'll give them that much. Oh, I don't know. Come out from under my engine there, it would be nice. Maybe swap sides, come here. Oh, I'm starting to think this one's not a skippy. Oh, it's just dummy. Well, actually heard a bit of noise out of the Timu. That got to the bottom there into the reef and just stitched me up. Wow. Oh, I'm thinking that was a Samson fish. Yeah, fish on. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not calling it. Oh, it's shaking its head. I feel like it could just be another one of those big skippy again. I've got this drag very tight on this reel too, by the way. Um, I've got absolute confidence in this new, like this new Berkeley 12 carrier braid. It's really, really good stuff. And I'm really confident in its pulling power. That's another one of those skippy, I think. Stop eating my snapper baits. Oh my God, that's a beast of a skippy. <laughs> That is an absolute rip snorter of a skippy. Look at the size of that guy. Look at the size of him. He's an absolute beauty. He's 50 centimeters. 50 centimeter skippy. That's a beauty. He can go back. I've got those other two, and I'm going to use those other two. I'm going to use them for bait a bit later on. I've got another plan. As soon as this sun goes up, which is kind of doing now, I'll probably give it another 10 minutes here, and I'm going to head out a bit deeper and um, use that squid. I've got that squid there. I'm going to drop that to the bottom, see if I can get demersals out a little bit deeper. But I'll give it another 10 here. I've got one more bait left. The head of the herring. It's over. My herring head's just been snacked to pieces. Um, I don't think there's going to be any snapper this morning, but, well, not the traditional way anyway. What I'm going to do now, I'll pack this stuff up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to head out a little bit deeper and I've got all this squid here. See all this fresh squid I caught last time I was out? And um, we'll drop this to the bottom, see if we can't get something with that as a fresh bait. As I'm leaving, I'll just show you what I was sitting on because people like to know what I sit on. Um, so this is up on top, 13. Fourteen. And around here somewhere she drops off. Any minute now. I think it might be here, round about here, yeah. So here we go. See that edge there? I was sitting on that edge where it drops from 13 down to 16 down to 17 off the back here you can see all that that's all the skippy on the sounder there that's what i was sitting on anyway let's punch it First drift, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the motor running because I might want to use a bit of reverse. I don't know. I've only got a 40 gram snap bait on here, so um, there's not much wind, so hopefully this should get to the bottom okay. I have got heavier ones, I just can't be bothered tying one on if I'm honest. I feel like this will get down there though. Just might need to use a little bit of reverse just to stop me. I'm in 30, 28 meters here, by the way. Yeah, I might really want to go with something a little bit heavier, I'm thinking. I can't tell if this is on the bottom or not. Yeah, it's on the bottom. It's made the bottom. That's all that matters. Oh, getting hit all right, straight away. This is a really small piece of ground here. Really isolated sort of lump, there's not much to it. So I'm just going to use reverse to hover. And it's definitely on the bottom. The actual lump I've got on the fish is just a little bit out from here, but I thought I'd try this one as I'm just going past anyway for good luck. You never know.
Doesn't look like anyone's home at this one today. Normally this one's lit with fish. Uh, I'm going to switch up to an 80 gram because I can actually, the 80 gram will just get to the bottom a bit quicker here. Um, the 40s are really good. The 40s are really good and I use them when I'm, when I'm sitting at anchor a lot. But if there's any sort of wind, and I'm lucky, it's pretty calm today, it's still got to the bottom. But I just feel like this 80 will get down there a whole lot quicker and I'll just be able to stay in contact with it a lot easier. I like the lighter stuff. I know a lot of people would probably be tying on bloody 200 grams here or 150 minimum. But I like to fish the lighter stuff. I think it dances better. Personally. You do whatever suits you. And I think the lighter stuff dances a bit better and um, just looks a bit more enticing. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Starting to get some showings. Let's get a bait down quickly. Before we drift off. This 80 gram should get to the bottom a lot, lot quicker. Yeah, it's much more much more realistic like I said the 40 was getting down there it was just taking too long and these are really small isolated so by the time I actually got it down there I'd already wiped I'd already um, drifted off the lump that I was trying to get onto this 80 will just get down there a whole lot quicker and I'll be able to stay in touch with it a lot easier I do like the lighter stuff though I just I don't know, I just feel like it's a much more, I want to say subtle presentation, but it's got a big, fat, ugly chunk of squid hanging on it, so there's nothing really subtle about it at all. But I feel like the smaller ones flutter around a bit better. Yeah, fish on. Here we go, let's go. Up you come. It's decent. Oh, can't breathe. Okay, here we go, it's better. Sorry, that hat was just really annoying me there. Oh, it's a decent fish. It could be the one we came for. All I want is one fish for my dinner and I'm happy. Um, again, I'm using that fresh bait. He's off the bottom now, so I think I've got him sorted. He wants to go back down. I'm fishing 30, this is 30 pound I got on this, a little bit heavier than what I fish for snapper and stuff inshore. 30 pound with a 40 pound black magic supple leader. I think this might be a ball chin groper. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell by his color. He's a decent fish, whatever he is. I'm just gonna go nice and slowly with him. Yeah, he's a ball chin, and I think he's a good one. Yeah, he's a rip snorter. Absolute beauty of a baldy. Sweet. There you go. Perfect eating size ball chin groper. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a beautiful meal for my family tonight. Um, probably two meals for my family that is, that fish. Oh, what's going on my GoPro? Stand still, boy. 
that's probably two meals for my fit for my family so i'm really happy with that that's probably the only fish i'm going to take today that fresh the fresh squid like i said fresh local squid caught it two days ago still fresh local squid um if the squid if i ran out of squid i was going to move on to those skippy i caught earlier on because those skippy would have also been dynamite once again fresh local use the bait from the area that you're fishing in and you're always going to have much better success so this guy will go on ice oh well, there you go didn't go quite as planned this morning and get the big snapper i was hoping for but it just goes to show you if you're using those fresh local baits um you'll still get fish you'll still get your bites i've got a couple of skippy and they'll be my baits next time they're my fresh local baits for next time um, I could have used them there, cut some big fillets off in, in the strips and they're perfect on those um, snap baits, as big chunky um, bottom baits. But yeah, fresh, use the bait that the fish are eating in your area, fresh and local. I mean the service station stuff and the stuff you buy in the shops is okay, but if you can get fresh and local, it's always going to be better. If you like the videos, stay tuned and I'll see everyone in the next episode. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Yew!